Hey guys, what's up? This is Andrew for TrendSenses.com. So in this video, I would like to go with you through yesterday's price action on AMC. We had some very nice bullish price action. So let's see what this means in terms of future price action. Let's get into it. So bam, 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 first wave. Okay, let's take a step back here. So first wave went to 23, then we corrected for three months, then we got back to the 70 level, 73, and then we had this long correction that lasts around two, three months, and then we had the breakout, finally. So this was the signal that things are starting to go higher. So now let's zoom in a little bit and see where we are in terms of uh, waves development in this fifth wave. I'm not sure it's the fifth of this move, one, two, three, four, five, or is it the major fifths, one, two, three, four, five? But it doesn't change much in terms of targets. So what we're interested in. So first, maybe I will give you back the targets again. So we use Fib extension. We apply one plus uh, 1.618 to the one plus three. So let's take it from here. I think it makes more sense. And so it goes roughly to the 130 level. Sometimes it's a one-to-one -one relation, so it would be 90. So those are my targets, 90, 130 for the coming month, roughly. And this would be a coming month. Now let's see what is the probability that this scenario actually happens. I mean, not really probability, but let's see what the market, what kind of signals the market is giving us. So we are looking for bearish or bullish signals, and then we're gonna see what is the conclusion. So for now, this looks like a first wave, right? One, two, three, four, five, okay. The third is a bit short, but it's still longer than the first. It's a valid counting. I'm not gonna keep it to have a light chart. So this would be a second, so one ABC. So I was not sure. So it still can happen. I, I'm not sure if the second is complete or not, all right? We could have an ABC. That's possible, but it's unlikely. I think that what we have is an ABC like this, and this is already a one, two of a major third, right? Maybe something like this, that would make more sense to me. So we're not there yet. We need to break uh, 48 on the upside first, but once again, guys, when a resistance has been hit twice and we come back to it, uh, it's usually weaker. This is what creating this type of pattern, all right? The cup and handle. We have something like this here. And of course, if we have a, an upside breakout, it would look very good. So what can I tell you here? I can tell you that 40 is still support. We have one more support here now. One, two, you see, we hit twice 42.4. So I'm going to keep it here. It's our a short term support. We have a medium term support a bit lower. To me, we are really nicely set up. Let me check the volume to uh, make this a third of the fifths. Okay. If we have nice volumes, it's even better. Okay. Volumes are decreasing, but they're still substantial. All right. We had 100 million shares trading yesterday, and this is the highest close we have seen for the past uh, almost two months, guys, all right? So it's good, it's looking nice to me. Now, once again, if we break 42.5 on the downside, we might uh, correct a bit longer. Now, let's have a look, guys, on the synthetic short interest, all right? Because we know that this is where the gamma is coming from, and we also know that this is what is gonna create a lot of uh, buying orders by market makers on the upside. So let's have a look at that. So here we go, guys. 21.2, this is the maximum synthetic short interest. So I'm monitoring this data. The maximum I've seen was 23%, so we are close to it. Uh, we have right now 9% of synthetic short. Once again, I've shown you guys this before, but it's very interesting to see where this is coming from. We can see that uh, basically we have a lot on September. All right, which strike 40 strike, all right? So this created some troubles for market makers. And we have on September, you see we have a, the 50 strike. So the 45 and the 50 strike on September are huge. And we have the 60, all right? So this is gonna create a lot of troubles for market makers if we push higher, all right? This is a lot of gamma, guys. And we can see that 
if it doesn't work in September, we already have a lot of options on Jan 22, especially on the 145 strike. So this is the reason why the exposure of market makers is um, shorter on the upside and that's why they need to buy. So let me here show you an updated chart. Okay, so the option distribution looks like this, guys. So, ta -da! you see, 145 strike is absolutely massive, all right? The biggest one before that is here around 8 million and here we have 20 million. So this is, of course, very expensive for option holders, but this is the reason why the bullish momentum is going to intensify on the upside if we keep pushing higher, which is happening right now. Even if the moves are not that big yet, it's going to the right direction. And once again, on September, this is coming from September, all right? All this uh, strike, sorry, maybe not this one, uh, but all those, all those ones, this one's here, like 45, 50, 60, it's coming from September. So the shorter the maturity, the, the bigger the gamma. So this is as well something that is, if we break 48 on the upside, it's like almost sure that we go to 55 and probably 65. Let me show you the chart again. Those are the targets for this end of week. If we break here, I mean, I don't see what can stop the price to going right away to 55. And if we do, market makers will have to keep buying. So let's see, maybe we're going to have some sellers taking profits here. We don't know, but definitely it's going to be to the advantage of the bulls. And one more thing I wanted to tell you guys about something I told you already a long time ago when this uh, was very low. I'm talking here about the high uh, dollar, uh, which is a cryptocurrency created by a group of friends that are in Hong Kong. I mean, one of them is uh, a friend, not a very close friend, but he's a friend. And those guys, they created this crypto. I gave you guys uh, this opportunity a long time ago. And I just wanted to show you how good this is going. For now, they have 1 million members. So in a matter of like two months, something like this. So it's a lot. It's growing fast. Uh, the price of the high dollar is now 0.70. It was trading at 0.2 or 0.3 when I told you uh, about that. I'm not sure this will uh, skyrocket right now because as I told you guys on my Discord, they have long-term ambitions. So they don't want the high dollar to go too high too quickly. So, you know, there's going to be some selling pressure uh, that might come if this goes too high too quickly. But it definitely has a very, very nice potential. So I just wanted to show you this again for those who haven't seen. And if you're interested, just click on the link in the description of this video and you can subscribe and get free high dollars every day. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the sub, like and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I upload anything new. And stay close to shore. I'll see you guys.